Welcome back to the Minecraft series where I see if I can become Minecraft's richest player by trading from nothing. This is episode two. Today, we are starting at our brand new base and we have some goals. Yeah, okay. Goal number one is I need to make some money because we have $226. And um, I mean, the richest player has 53 million. All right, step one, we're going to type in daily. That gives you a daily reward. So I have two daily rewards because I've logged in two days in a row. And then I'm going to actually warp to the crates here and I'm going to open up these daily crease. So if I open these up, I got a chance to win something like really quite solid. But I'm going to wait till the end of the video to do it. That way you guys stay till the end. So if you guys want to see what I win, make sure you stick around, guys. Oh, look at this. We got a boot enchantment that prevents you from trampling on crops. I love that. Okay, I need to get some diamonds because I want to make some diamond boots so that I can enchant them with anti-trample. That means we don't do any damage to crops when we trample them. Also, check this out, guys. All right, look at this. I was exploring last night and I think it's over here. I found this really cool location that I don't believe my brothers are aware of yet. Is this the cave? Yeah, yep. Yeah, here we go. This is it. Underneath our bases, I started walking down. I located this really interesting cave and I thought, wow, what a great way to find iron and coal and gain mining levels. But then as I descended deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, a skulk biome. So I'm getting down here right now. I saved it for camera because I wanted to see if we could enter the warden's home and actually get some items. Somehow we built above this literally totally random. Oh God, this is scary. Cause uh, I'll be honest with you. I had never done this before. Interesting. That's okay. We're just going to run through it. I'm not even going to think. I'm hoping we identify some diamonds down here, some diamandes, because your boy needs some diamandes, like I said, for them boots. It's going to help us with the crop farm we're going to make today. Ideally, the world's largest carrot farm you've ever seen in your entire life to strike fear into the hearts of my enemies. Let's go dig down. There we go, folks. All right, let's get on in there and see what happens. We got some We got some serious danger ahead. All right, folks, here we go. Our first time in a deadly cavern looking for a little diamonds. Oh, didn't like that. Oh, look, carpet. Oh, this is good because the carpet allows us to... I need food. Okay, I don't have any blocks either. All right, it ain't looking good. Woo! Go, go, go. All right, honestly, um, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that I get the warden to spawn here. So I also have no ability to run, and I also don't know if my brothers have gotten here yet. So there's a lot on the line, but I'm going to... Oh, God. Okay, that wasn't what I meant to do. Oh, boy. Here we go, folks. They're just going to look for a little chest. Oh, that don't sound good. Oh God, he's here. I'm not scared at all. We'll continue on. I've fought the warden many times in creative mode. I have no fear. Oh God. Oh my God, where is he? No, oh, there we go. Diamonds. Oh, sick diamond pants. Bro, my brothers are going to be so mad. They literally are going to be so mad when they see how much items I collect and how much money we make off of this. Oh my God. This is so risky. I, the fact that I'm on here before them blows my mind. I, I think that they just didn't mine as much as I did. Do we see any more? Do we see any more? Oh, there's some over there. A double. Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't know where he is. I don't care. I don't care where he is. I'm just here to collect items. I'm here to get rich and get out. Oh, boy. Okay, I, I have a feeling he's very incredible. Oh, my Lord. I don't feel safe. Yo, I'm putting these on right now. Curse of Vanishing. Oh, fire protection on fire. Bro, bro, those are like so good. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. God. I was obliterated by the warden. All right, well, I guess that's our sign to come back to the surface, folks. Oh my God. I didn't know he had range like that. I mean, I did, but I didn't. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick inventory here of what we actually managed to get. We managed to get six bones, two iron, a coal, nothing else is sellable. That is not good. I guess I'll drink this. Yummy. Oh, three candles. Oh, wow, wow. Day railroad. What if I put some candles in the wall and had like some wall candles back here? Because this is something I don't even know how to craft. I know my brothers don't know how to craft this. They're going to see this and be like, Exactly. That's pretty sick. You got some wall candles? Yes, sir, I do. Some horse armor. I mean, that's actually really cool. There's a horse outside. I maybe could tame it. This would really help with traversing the land. Oh, there he is. The horse. I knew it. I said, I said to myself, there's Zach. I said, Zach, there's a horse out here. You're going to go get that horse tonight. You're going to give him, put a saddle on him. Let's get him. Yeah, baby. Yeah, boy. All right, this is not working. Oh my God, it's worked. We've done it. We've tamed an animal. Now. Oh, wait, I don't have a saddle. Oh, I do have a saddle. Oh my God, we've got saddle. Oh, look at this diamond horse. Are you kidding me? I guess for now, we'll just park and ride in here. 
Got our, oh, he broke the carrots, that's fine. I can't believe we did that. Better replant these. Actually, better harvest up the crop here. See, I do this when it rains, because then it fertilizes for me. All right, after replanting, this is actually a money-making method. You can see here, 121 plus 131. So it gives us about 300 gold every time we harvest that, which isn't bad considering that's a portion of our net worth. But I need to go to my chest room and see if I have enough of these because these will also be our food. Oh yeah, we're good. I think I'll keep them for now. Why not? Yo, I got Swift Sneak. Cool. And two compasses. Oh, I got a name tag. I knew it. I said I had to have got a name tag. There we go, buddy. Welcome to the team. We gotta use a name tag. We gotta need an anvil. Oh man, I don't have enough iron to make an anvil. All right, well, we'll name him then once we get that iron. A couple glow berries for decoration. It's beautiful. Now we can glow, grow glow berries, and these are kind of rare, so I'm imagining I can trade Isaac or Ben with these, but I also wanna work on creating a little bit more uh, intimidation, but also profit. I'm going to keep investing the carrots into mega carrot farm, and I also believe we have enough dirt to invest into mega carrot farm. So I'm gonna make mega carrot farm. All right, let's go grab some wood here, folks. I would like to create this as a much higher, like taller design, but I feel like it needs to be longer as well. I don't know, we're gonna go ahead and climb up here. I'm gonna see if I can design this and make it like extremely powerful. We'll work, we'll work on the looks later. For now, we're going to just focus on getting maximum productivity out of this. Maximum carrots. We need some wood. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to come down here. I think we'll create a little pillar right next to this with a ladder. Maybe make it four high. That way it's like very comfortable to walk underneath. And like my thought process here is if I do the ladder like this, then I could start placing dirt right above it. Is that too tall? You think? No, because then the horse still fits. Or is it too tall? I like it. I like it. I like a little bit of room in here. It makes it comfortable. So now we have a way to get to the second layer. We'll be able to make this look nice at the end. The problem is though, I'm not sure how I can place water here without having like a really weird like dip underneath it where it like pokes down. But I guess that is the only option. So if I go right here and break up, that becomes the water holder. But what would make that better is if that was actually glowstone because then it would actually look like it's a light, but it's also holding that above it. So I need to get some glowstone, but I don't know if I can even get glowstone right now because I think it's like somewhat expensive. All right, all right. It feels like a little bit like a luxury item we're not gonna have the opportunity to get right now, but we can get some water and we can at least least make like a couple layers. Now we can begin to hoe with our new efficiency five mending silk touch hoe we picked up. This is the greatest hoe I've ever seen in my life. That'll last the rest of the season, honestly. And plant. Actually, we still have quite a few carrots to spare, a stack of 63 plus 43. So now these are all gonna grow and these are all gonna grow. The problem is I don't feel like this is actually like a very aesthetic looking design right now. Like I feel like long-term, I'd love to get like a villager alley situation here where they're like constantly doing it for me. But right now I think we just gotta do it the old fashioned way. Well, howdy neighbor. Oh, there you are, Zach. Now, hey, I had to come over and inquire about this new farm you got here, Zach. And where did you get diamond horse armor from? <laughs> I found it in a cave. I found it in a cave chest. You found diamond horse armor. I actually got a second one if you want to trade for it to intimidate Ben later. Um, what's the name of this majestic steed? I, I'm thinking about it. I got some name tags, but I haven't decided. I was thinking like maybe Earl. You got name tags too? How'd you get the pants too, Zach? Where'd you get all this diamond gear from? I, I have to be honest with you. I found a cave and I got some items, but I got something to trade you. But what do you think of this thing? What do you think of this thing? This little design here? Well, let me let me go take a look at the upstairs. I'm not sure how to like do it yet, but I'm just going to keep stacking it for now and see what happens. Are you trying to make this automatic? I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to. To be honest, I don't know if the server allows it and I own it. Oh, but Zach, listen, 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 Zach. Yeah. You have a red name tag that means you can do whatever you want you're right i have a red i own the server i can do anything i i'm not sure how to like make this efficient but i guess for now i'm just gonna keep stacking it and see what happens i like it right now zach i'm just concerned with getting enough seeds so mine kind of is just you know we're just propagating over there well i'll tell you what i got some items to trade why don't you go bring over your best gear and let's get a little trade going on let me tell you what zach i have my best gear and i don't have much so i have 12 copper blocks though maybe that interests you i am interested in copper i i, I actually oh. am starting a little bit of a copper collection here oh okay i trade you a pair of Enchanted diamond pants for those copper blocks. Um, God, just does that really help me? What what a pants? What are they gonna do for me? Unbreaking three, bro. You're gonna take so much less damage. You're not gonna die. I'm just gonna take a look through all your stuff here. Yeah, take a look. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is in this chest? I got some gear in this one, huh? Glow berries, name tags, enchanted books, skulk sensors. Yeah. Oh, you found a skulk biome. I did. I didn't take it all. There's still a lot in there. Zach, you have a bee spawn egg in there. You wanna you wanna explain that one to me? Yep, daily crate. Oh my God, he's got everything, folks. 
blokes. Jeez. Zach, I have 12 blocks of copper to offer. What do you offer me for that? I'll give you diamond legs that are enchanted plus a single glowberry so you can start a glowberry farm. Glowberry's good. I'll tell you what, Zach. I would like either the sheep or the bee spawn egg and the glowberry. Uh, I'll do the sheep. Okay, so the sheep and the glowberry for my 12 copper blocks. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> the copper collection is growing, folks. What a trade, dude. That was a great trade, Zach. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm going to head back to my place now. All right, I'm going to put this copper down and get to work with this. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have wanted copper for a long time because I feel like copper is really just the epitome of wealth. So I can replace all of this with a much more luxurious block. That looks so good. I love it. And I'm pretty sure I saw 64 copper in here from some smelting earlier. Yes, I did. Seven more. We're about to line the full front entrance. People aren't even going to believe it. Now that screams luxury. I'm not even using half blocks. I'm using full blocks of copper to make this. It looks so good. I gotta go plant the rest of those carrots though. Seemed like that carrot farm was intimidating him a little bit. Happy to say it. Sounds like it's working. Now we've established each one of these racks will make me about $300 when I harvest it. So that's 300, 600, 900. So we're just under $1,000 per harvest. Pretty good. Now we've got the triple decker. Again, if I change that to glowstone, it's gonna look so much nicer as a design in general. All right, let's let those carrots cook while we move on to another project inside the house. We need to expand our chest room some. It's just very messy right now. All right, let's get some wood cutting levels here and then maybe replant some trees because we're kind of running low with trees near our base and that means I have to walk farther and honestly, I'm not a fan of walking. That's a beehive, I should leave that one. Actually, wait a minute, that could make some money. New mission, obtain beehives so that I can start collecting honey so that I can start selling honey for money and use the bee that I have as a bee spawn egg to use to add to the bee honey supply room. This is going to be really interesting. So I think I can make a uh, fire. There it is. Now, if you guys didn't know this, you can actually place a campfire underneath the beehive. And I believe this sedates them in a way that prevents them from attacking you when you destroy their lovely home to collect the items that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and try that right now and see if that's actually true. All right. Seems like that didn't work. Okay, all right, all right, didn't work at all, and I broke the bee. It just, honestly, that was a disaster on multiple levels. Right, right, that's because I made the mistake of breaking the nest when what I should have done is sheared the nest. Guys, welcome to another mess up with Loverfella. I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know? At least I have enough to make some shears real quick, bro. I literally have no idea that you were supposed to shear it because I've never, in my Minecraft journey, actually played with honey. It's never been a thing I've done. Well, that really sucks because that was like the only one there. Let's see if I can shear this. It's not dripping though, so I don't know if it'll work. Oh, it did. Oh, oh, and it's, that's exactly what I needed. Three of them. So I can make my own bees nest. That way I can bring them all inside my base or just put in my front door. We could just have like a little honey thing going on here. Hey, there it is. Our first beehive. I can't believe I got my first beehive in Minecraft. I feel like if you see a beekeeper, they're going to put it near their own plants and stuff. So maybe what I'll do is I'll clear this out and we'll make this like a little beehive zone. Okay, so my idea here is if I were to maybe place beehives like this, get some flowers, I could surround this area with some beautiful bees. I think there's so many flowers up here. All the different flowers. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see, baby. We've really cleared out this entire mountain, but man, our base is killing it, dude. So then what I'm thinking is we can just surround these with various types of beautiful flowers and these will stimulate the bees to produce more pollen. So let's go ahead and pop one behind it. Just all these different colors here. Have a little fun with it. And then we can prepare for our other bee colonies because we'll do more. You know what I mean? Like we'll just go down the line with multiple bee colonies as we get them. It's a stunning idea. I love it. Look at this. I just got to use the beehive now out there, which I didn't give out to Isaac. So that means we have like a monopoly on the bee now, which means we can get honey, which means we can sell honey for lots of money. But first, bee goes in the beehive. Bye, have a great time. All right, well, that didn't work. Come back, please. Perfectly good hive right here, my friend. We'll we'll leave that. We'll give that one some opportunity to go explore his surroundings and hopefully he doesn't go in the other beehive that's right there. Now, I'd love to incorporate some natural stone to the outside. So by using this stone, we could create some nice little cobblestone staircases that just lead you right down to the old beehive region right here. A little bit of something like this. Have that just flow down beautifully. Boom, here you are. And then a little bit of path block right up to it. Mm, break it up a little bit on the inside. Have some fun with it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I can't believe how much we've done. Where's that bee at though? Because I really honestly am concerned that he's not going to the beehive. Hello, Mr. Bee. All right, well, that's really depressing and sad to me because I'm not sure where the bee went and we like had four of them. Then we have like zero bees. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Our server has a system called player warps where players can basically set up a warp and sell it or sell items. I'm going to see if there's anything here that might be worth our time. I'm going to see. Like this guy has a warp to a mall. So it's free to teleport here. So I'm going to see if there's any shops here that we can check out. Maybe score some deals. Oh, here we go. He's selling diamonds for 400. 
hundred each, and I believe that's the best deal we've seen yet. See, that's why you got to go to these shops because these are nine for ten thousand, which means these are selling for over a thousand each. This is over half that price. I just found a secret shop with a deal. So if I just buy a few of these, one, two, three, four, that allows me to get the boots that I wanted, right? Oh, we sold out, bro. Only had three of them for sale. Are you serious? We only needed one more. Here, all right, let's go home. We at least got some diamonds. That's what we wanted, but I need one more to make these anti trample boots that I want, bro. All right, I think we need to go like mine. We got to get this diamond, man. I'm not. I got. I got none. I just got to get down there and make it happen. All right, here we go. Minus 50. This is really a hot spot, supposedly, for diamonds. So now we're going to do my chunk mining technique where you find the chunk borders and then you mine along the middle of them. This looks like a border right here. The benefit is Minecraft only spawns a certain amount of diamonds per chunk. So if you mine between two chunks, you're enhancing your uh, options of finding more diamonds because you can find them in both chunks, not just one. Dang, guess we're going back up. Now we need iron? Oh my God, I thought I had a backup iron pickaxe. If we want to find peak iron, we've got to hit like the zero levels. So we're going to have to go a little deeper. All right, well, it's not perfect iron location, but it'll do. See, I was really expecting to find some iron through all of that, but I've decided a new option would be maybe go back to the player warp and see if I can find another shop and maybe one that's selling iron. I don't know why this one's had 330 visits today. What is this? God, this dude's got something serious set up here. This is what I need to get. Whoa, I could just trade sticks for emeralds and sell the emeralds and get money. Okay, well now we've got a whole new thing to work on. Like this is just mind blowing. Now somehow in order to get the diamond, we're gonna go actually cut down a forest and somehow that's gonna allow me to get the diamond that I need. I mean, it just doesn't even make sense, but it does. One of these days I gotta get myself a wood farm too. I mean, we're slowly getting there to the point where we have some resources, but we really don't have a lot still. All right, let's see how much this gets us. We're just gonna get us a handful of trades maybe. Four. Six, seven, and then we're one short to get eight. They're only worth 75 bucks each, so it's not bad, but I don't even have a high enough shop level to sell them yet, so it's still not a valid strategy for us. At this point, we just need to get down there with a stone pickaxe and get ourselves our iron back so we can get our diamond. This is just a, this is just a disaster. One hour later. Bro, are you kidding me? Look at how far I have mined. All right, I, I didn't want to do this, and I feel like some of you maybe thought of this. We're just going to come back home. I'm just going to grab some of this iron that I have that is basically sitting here to be turned into my anvil. I'm going to convert this back to iron because clearly we're not ready for that yet. Make my iron pickaxe, go back down the cave we were just in, then go mine the diamond that was there. Oh, diamond! We can't get it <laughs> because we lost our iron tool. That is unfortunate. That should finally allow us to get the item that we've been demand so strongly that we need. And that item is those boots. It goes around the corner. Oh, we got a pack of zombos inbound, folks. Watch out for that. Good luck, gentlemen. Loverfellow's got a diamond to get. Oh, it's more than one. It's at least three. Oh, it's four. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. A little bit of hunger damage never stopped nobody. No, I wouldn't think a warden would spot. Never mind. I'll be honest. It's not in our favor that we're going to survive a whole lot longer down here. Oh, that don't sound good. About 15 wardens behind us right now. Doesn't feel very safe. Oh, look at that. Just on the verge of death, we found an underground mine shaft. Bro, no way. We'll set a home here. That way we can teleport back at any time. We can also collect these rails because I could literally use them and save a lot of iron and money. But not oh my God, this is what we're looking for. Let's go. Oh, so much iron. So happy. Oh, lapis. I haven't got any of that yet. Oh, look at this, guys. Underground minecart chest. What do we get? Um, Nothing crazy. I'm going to take it all anyway because uh, why not? The more I take, the less my brothers can have. Oh, we got a spider spawner. Now, I don't think I can break it unless I have soaked touch, but that's good because that's worth about $20,000. That would catapult us into the lead against my brothers right now. Now, I know this might look a little crazy, but this also seems like a much better way to actually get wood by doing something like this. I can just mine down and like get like a mega wood tree right here. Like, this is great. Okay, I think we've been down here long enough. I'm gonna teleport back home now and get all of this stuff smelted as best I can because we got a lot to pop in the furnaces. Let's go unpack our items. Finally, let's go. We got the boots. So now we can apply the custom enchantment. There's a 92% chance it succeeds. And it did. We now have anti-trample. So that means we finally accomplished our goal. And when I go outside, I should be able to avoid trampling the carrots when I harvest them. This is what we've been after all day. Look at that. Was it worth it, guys? Come on, watch this. Look how nice this is now. Are you kidding me? I don't break them anymore. This is the greatest day ever. We've got all of them done. So if we see how many we have, three, six, it made us about $650. And it took us like, I don't know, two or three minutes. It's not bad. I'm going to sell it now. Look at that, guys. That's our first profit we've earned ourselves. That felt really nice to do. Now we should have... 
We have 2,000 experience. I'm gonna use it to buy two runes and see what I get. So I'm gonna right click these and see if we got any good enchantments. There was a, a it was kind of free. It just takes experience. So we got a squishy, which says take 5% less damage. And then we got ranged weapons only, a 10% chance of barraging to enemies with a hail of arrows. So that's not a bad little collection here of runes. And what we are gonna do though, is go open up these daily keys and see if we get something good. There is an opportunity here to change the flow of the game if we do get something solid. So let's see what happens. Daily shield. All right, that's not the worst thing I could have got. I mean, it's probably close to it though. Like I just dropped it. Oh, a chicken spawner. Is that what we just got? Bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we got a chicken spawner. That was a 1% chance. That's a dub. This dude got freaking pork chop and gave him to me because he was so sad. Okay, hold on. This is actually massive. And the daily shield's actually really solid. Like that's a good shield. We're going to save that for when we go back to the warden. Is this as good as I think it is? Can we just have like free range chickens now? Let's go ahead and pop this down and see. Oh, it's pigs. Not even chickens. Doesn't even know what it is. Wow, that's still incredible. Because now it's like free food. Problem is I can't pick it up because I don't have silk touch. So that's going to remain there for a period of time that's unknown at this point. However, it's a dub. A more carrots. Oh, actually, we missed a whole stack of 60 to sell. All right, I'm going to see if I can snag any more deals today. I haven't gotten any, and usually I get at least one. So let's see if there's any, like, quick snags for us here at the very end. Did I just, did I just get the greatest deal I've ever seen in my life? Bro. Someone sold seven cave spider spawners for $75. Do you know what these are worth? They're selling for 20,000 each. Bro, I'm keeping this. I'm going to make my own spider farm. Someone said they meant to put $75,000. I found out who sold them. I found the actual owner. That is so funny to me. That's incredible. That poor guy's day is ruined. And honestly, I'm not giving them back. This is a competition. Oh God. Well, that was a mistake. I guess that's karma. Guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget there are weekly videos here. So subscribe and of course, join the server. Peace.